ago, I, my younger brother sent me this remote control car. There used to be a cover. Um, I have no idea what happened to it. But it's Radio Shack. It has a 7.2 um, volt battery. Uh, 1,000 milliamp hour. And I haven't used it in a long time. And I don't know if it even still works. So let's find out. Okay, so. Turns. So, ever since I've had a Raspberry Pi, I've been wanting to have it move this robot, or car. Uh, the only problem is, I don't know exactly how I would go about doing that. If I could actually power this itself or whatnot. Now, the Raspberry Pi is a computer, but it has some things that I may need. So I may use an Arduino. Now I wouldn't just use this, I'd use it in combination. So because I can use, I can put a camera on this, USB, whatever. I have a nice little battery pack for the Arduino. And he goes like that. And so now, I just switch it on. And charge it, whatever. So now I don't have to worry about it getting the Arduino getting power. I still have to worry about Raspberry Pi, and I think I'm gonna maybe use a battery pack, something like this, and just solder the wire straight in or something. I don't know. I have to think about it. Or I may wait until my Raspberry Pi Zero comes in and have it do it. So I have this chip, which I'm going to talk about um, later, that I want to use to control the motor. The problem is, this can only, it's not for big motors, so I might not be able to use this at all. Um, I need to find out how much power the motor takes, and then I can go from there, because if it's under an amp, which I really doubt, um, I'll be able to use this chip. I think it has a max of 600 um, milliamps before the chip fries. So, let's see what all is inside this little car. Oh boy. How much you can do about that? So this is what is called an H-bridge. I'll talk about that later. It allows the motor to go backwards and forwards. And these are for the front to go back and forth. So Next thing I'm going to do is try to find out what, amp, how many amps, you know, milliamps, this motor is going to take. So I have my multimeter in amp mode. And I'm plug in that. I'm going to use this guy. So let me turn this on, make sure I'm at 7.2 volts. This could be dangerous. Don't try this at home. Okay. What am I doing on? Okay. 
Whoa! It started at two amps. Man. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to use my chip. Okay. That's a lot. Well, let's find out about the servo next. At, I'm going to go down to 75 volts. Oh, you can go up to 50, but it's not. It's 50 milliamps. 500 actually. So, if I just do it once. 